Good afternoon and welcome to Audio Tree Live. Today is Thursday, September 7th, 2017, and we are honored to be hosting Strange Ranger. Go ahead and your first song, guys. The cars come by. Watching Audio Tree Live. Fred, you actually did the dance moves we talked about. I, I, I said I was going to do them, man. I, I'm a man of my word. So. <laughs> they were just like right away dance yeah. party well, time. Yeah, that's the idea. I don't know. That's the only time I can dance because the rest of the time I have to play, like, play bass or whatever. <laughs> that's true. If you guys were just a dance group, who would be the best dancer? Mm. Fred? I don't know. Isaac's got some sick moves, though. Yeah, that's true. I saw some of those moves because you didn't have to hold an instrument. That was pretty cool. So you guys used to have an old name, or you changed your name just recently. Um, Sioux Falls, was that the old name, and why did you change it? Anybody? Um, I don't know. We just felt that it was sort of insensitive. Like, when we, like, we thought of the name when we were, like, 15, um, and then we later yeah. learned that it was... We just, like, named ourselves after the town and then realized that, like, us is, like, a band of, like, white, white guys, you know, like, like 
probably maybe shouldn't call ourselves like name our band Sue anything. Yeah, that totally yeah. makes um, sense. So when so, you changed your name, did you change your sound at all either, or was it more just like being more conscious of that? Uh, I think that there was kind of a like a stylistic shift that would have happened anyway, mm -hmm. but it still is like in essence the same project. That's awesome. Yeah. yeah well, absolutely. you guys sound really great. Um, you have two songs in a row coming up for us, so why don't we just hit it off? Cool. After we're done tuning. After this we're is the tuning tuning. part. We While we're tuning, um, I'm going to ask you what your favorite flavor of ice cream is. Okay. Go around the circle, starting with you, Isaac. Chocolate. <laughs> with, uh, yeah. Pistachio or coffee? I don't know. I can never decide. One of the two. Cherry Garcia. Oh, yeah, definitely. Yeah. Okay, so there's this ice cream company from Livingston, Montana called Wilcoxons. Yeah. And they make... Shout out. Shout out. Shout out. Shout out, <laughs> Livingston, Montana. And they make... Uh, a huckleberry ice cream. Montana, like, huckleberries are, like, the only thing that grow there, basically. So they're obsessed with huckleberries, and, like, the huckleberry ice cream is the bomb. There's this ice cream company out of Vermont called uh, Ben & Jerry's. <laughs> oh, and partial to their flavors. Same. Is that the town that you're from that you're uh, talking well, about? Well, Isaac and I are from Bozeman, but Livingston is, like, right over the hill. That's, like, where my cousins live, and I like, spend a lot of time there. And they have yeah, dank ice cream. There. Yeah. What about you, Asher? Uh, cookie dough. Ooh. Put that. Ben yeah. and Jerry's shout out. Yes. I We're not sponsored by them, just to clarify. Um, are y'all ready? I think so. Let's yeah. do it. We're ready. Rock. I'm looking for everything all I want. Back in the place I
You're watching Audio Tree Live. We're hanging out with Strange Ranger. You guys are full of musical surprises. I was like making faces like, damn, whenever the feel would switch. Um, what percentage or like how much of your songs are jam based, like made together, and how much are premeditated, like someone writes them alone? I think, well, especially like that was a Rap Forever song. And like basically every Rap Forever song would like start like with like Isaac would write it and then it like. So usually like the chunk of the song where he's singing is like he would write and then like the jam thing that happened at the end we would kind of like work out yeah. as a band, I think. That's awesome. Yeah, absolutely. Cool. So you guys just moved from um, Montana to Portland. Is not that just. Not we moved like uh, like six years ago. Okay, so you've yeah. had time to <laughs> adjust. Yeah. Did you move for the music or for other reasons? Mm-hmm. Yeah, we moved for the music. We, uh, yeah. Fred and I uh, we went to high school together. Yeah, we're Montana is like a huge state with no people in it, which is what's great about it. But it's like not the place to like, not the best place to be if you're trying to like do what this. Yeah, you know? I definitely I gotta go get to a that. city like, probably. Yeah. yeah, although there are tons of like great bands from Montana. Really, like yeah. what? Oh, like the Touchers actually. Yeah, the one. Well, of the yeah, best let's bands talk of about it right now. The Touchers are one of the greatest bands of all time. They're from <laughs> Bozeman, Montana. They're dead now. Oh. Yeah, they don't exist anymore. But um, they were like like super formative just for me personally as like a songwriter and I'm sure for Fred as well. What yeah, kind of music I didn't get into them until a bit later, but yeah. yeah. Um, it's just like a, I guess cow punk, I think it's called. Cow like punk. It's like, <laughs> did you say? It's like alt country. It that's like, like pixies. Like, like punk, of, yeah, like kind yeah, of yeah. pixies-ish. Kinda, did you say cow like punk? Cow punk. Yeah. Yeah. Um, okay. I think, that, I think that's like the genre <laughs> tag. <Yeah. laughs> Is that like self-described? Or? No, no. I mean, no, like, what's a, that that's band? A, that's a genre tag. That punk rock girl band. What, what's that band called? Punk rock girl. That, I don't know. Look, Google it. That uh, that band is called a cow punk, so I know it's yeah. a real thing. Yeah. What constitutes being part of the cow collective? Uh, <laughs> yeah. you, you have to be branded, like on your body. Okay, and yeah. you have yeah. to look sort of like a cow. Uh, it's like yeah. sometimes. It's like punk, yeah. but with the country twang. Yeah. <laughs> sort of. Different, like, like very different idea from folk punk. You know? Oh, I think I've actually heard of this. Yeah, What's it's some pre Wilco band called. Uh, uh, Uncle Tupelo. Uh, yeah, Uncle I think Tupelo, like they're probably yeah, yeah. four bears or something. I don't know what you call yeah. it. So did you guys find it hard initially to kind of get in the groove of being in this city? I just moved to Chicago, so I know it can be kind of hard to insert yourself into a scene. Like, Where did you kind of find your place? DIY? Clubs? Well, it all started on that fateful night um, <laughs> at, uh, what's that bar called on Hawthorne when we played with, like a uh, Lebanese with Loser or? Boyfriend? Oh, that like basement place? Yeah, yeah. Um, and w- we had Blade oh, 2. Yeah. Blade 2 on VHS yeah. was playing oh, yeah, in the background. Great. Um, yeah, we met like uh, it was really hard at first. Like yeah. we moved to. Portland. If you're gonna ask us what our favorite movies are, Blade Two. Blade two. <laughs> by Blade we two. love VHS here. Uh, we watch, or they, the camera crew watches VHS probably before every oh, session. Yeah. So that'd yeah, be a conversation. Yeah, I saw they were watching them. Die Harder out there when, when we came <laughs> in. It's a great film. Sean is smiling. Great movie. <laughs> yeah. Nice, nice. Okay, we can talk movies. I saw um, some interesting pop culture references. You've now displayed uh, your shirt that oh, you yeah. wanted to display. What it, What is <laughs> that? Uh, oh, I didn't say friend. anything about oh, like, yes, to display did. it. <laughs> but, you know, shout out Little Star, <laughs> Portland, PDX, Dan Olympia. Olympia. Shout out to Rod. Shout out, shout out Rod. Rod. Shout out Mom. Shout out shout Snow out Roller. Mom. Shout out my grandma who bought me this sweater. So. <laughs> That's pretty great. Yeah. yeah, well, we can talk movies later, but yeah. I want to hear some more music. So okay, let's cool. do that. Do you want mine? Actually, no, I kind of need mine. <laughs> okay. She 
she's going straight into the next one. But thanks for stopping by. Hydration is key. Yeah. 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 Hydration is key. Act acting. Audio Tree Live. So I read on um, 
on the internet that you guys do a lot of DIY sort of basement shows. What's your experience been with the DIY scene and why why play a DIY show versus a club or something more formal? It's n it's nice to have all ages shows. Um, I think that we don't play bars usually because we want to be inclusive in that way. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, in Portland there's just like not an abundance of good all ages venues. There's like one basically like Blackwater. I don't know. Yeah, liquor uh, liquor laws are kind of like cartoonishly restrictive in Portland, and so yeah, it so just makes playing bar shows really not fun most of the time. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then, yeah, I mean, I think, like... Mm -hmm. Also, like, with house shows, you know, you can um, generally... If there's, like, touring bands or whatever, you can often give them better payouts because, like, you don't have to give anyone else a cut. Yeah, um, definitely. Things like that. Do you feel like you connect with the audience better in any certain type of venue? Like, when you're in a basement, I know sometimes it can be kind of, like, um, maybe even a little more claustrophobic or there, it's just more packed Intimate and kind of sweaty. Intimate, yeah, yeah. definitely. Yep. Um, what do you think about, like, how you connect with your audience in different situations? Um, I mean, I think basements is definitely my favorite um, type of place to play. Mm -hmm. um, where I feel most at, at home. Definitely. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we have shows in our basement um, a lot. Like, we have bands play and it's really fun and um i don't know you can it does feel like more, more intimate um and it feels i don't know just like a more kind of fun like authentic experience i think yeah like um, a at least community. personally like if we're playing a, like a really crazy fun basement show then if we're like on a stage or something and there are like not enough people mm -hmm. inside of the venue to like warrant us playing there <laughs> shout out to maddie next door for putting up with our noise yeah our neighbor she's love you Wait, very cool. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. Not all of them are. Important to have <laughs> a good cool. practice space. <laughs> but she is. All right, so let's take it off into the next tune. Okay. Sorry, I should have been tuning. <laughs> it's okay. I wish I had more ice cream questions for you. <laughs> we could talk about favorite movies now if you, you want. You could ask what our favorite type of ice cream cone is. Yeah, actually, mm. that's a really good question. I like the waffle cone personally. Oh, and we're back. Chocolate dipped waffle. <laughs> if your favorite is a waffle cone, something's wrong. That's clearly the best foot. Some beans. <laughs> I just like eating it out of a paper cone, like a snow cone style. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Eat it out of my hand. Just use yeah. a hand as a spoon. It really yeah. soaks up the flavor. You know? <laughs> Fred's a cool guy. Tree Live. Um, I noticed that you're playing some short songs and some really long songs. Uh, how do you feel about a radio single having like a perfect length? I think it's like three minutes to 3.30. Do you guys have a, a favorite single that you would play on the radio or that you'd pick? 
A favorite uh, single length or a favorite single? Either. <laughs> the best single of all time is I'm Standing Outside a Broken Phone Booth yeah. with Money in yeah. My Hand um, by, I forget what they're called. Primitive yeah. Radio Gods. Yeah, that's yeah. the best Shout single out. of all time. Shout that's out. Shout also, out. Just Like Heaven. Yeah. yeah. yeah just Like Heaven. It's um, a Tall Star song. All of the all of the cure hits. All of yeah. the cure. Definitely. I was actually uh, referring to your own music. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Since we are here to talk about you. Uh, yeah, yeah, we could talk about the cure. Let's talk about better bands. Well, shout no. out to Semi Charmed Life, Third Eye Blind. <laughs> we have singles out right now. Actually, should we? Yeah. Yeah, know. plug them. Let's Sophie see some plugs. Was a single. That was a short single. Yeah, we yeah, played Sophie, it. which was a single. On uh, the we have a record coming out on October sixth on Tiny Engines. And you can pre-order it. Today. You can. Oh yeah, you Band can pre-order camp. it today. Buddy. Can you pre-order the cassette? Oh whoa. Yeah, you can yeah. pre-order yeah. the vinyl, cassette, CD, digital copy if you want. Lots of things to buy. Yes. Um, and yeah, so we played two one. singles from the record. It's called Damon, and it's out October 6th, and we're really excited about it. So are we. We're excited to have you. Awesome. Thanks for thank, being yeah, here. Thank you so much for having us. This is really neat and, yeah. and cool. Yeah, one more song, one right? More song. Yeah. All one right, song. let's do it. <sighs> okay, yeah, my mom hates this song, so shout out to my mom. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Let's prove it wrong. Yeah. Stop and time.
You've been watching Audio Tree Live. This has been a session with Strange Ranger. We're so happy that you guys came in today. Um, thanks to everybody in studio, the sound engineers, the camera and lighting crew for making everything look beautiful, and to the viewers for watching. You can support the band by downloading or streaming the sessions in a few weeks when it comes out. And from all of us here at Audio Tree Live, thanks for watching. Thanks. Thank you very much, everybody. <laughs>